Hello everyone, my name is Dean, and welcome back to the 20 and 20 challenge. This is week 5, part 4, I think. Uh, today we're going to be covering how you can add a description to your to-do list item. So this is going to require updating our API. So we're going to go from uh, the old API settings to having an additional field where we can add in a body. So like your to-do list, you know, you have the title. Uh, and then right below it, you'll have like the uh, bigger description of what the to-do item is. So I might say something like, go make a sandwich. And then my, you know, bigger description is, uh, I want it spicy, I want it meaty, and I uh, need to do this before I go for my run or something. Uh, you know, topical running. Um, so that's sort of what we're going to be doing. And then once we uh, handle the API portion, we then need to handle the React portion. And the surprising thing is that the React portion is actually very easy here. You just add the, the new like text area to the to-do list item, and then you're pretty much done as far as submitting it. And then you just have to add it to your uh, front end display uh, by like calling, you know, props.todo.task or dot body. So overall it's, you know, if you know what you're doing, you can do this in, you know, 30, 40 seconds, uh, it's just two commands on the rail side, change the controller, then add the form component and display it. So maybe closer to a minute to two minutes. Um, but you know, it looks really good when you're done with it. And uh, I think you guys will get some serious value out of this. So I just wanted to get this out. And then tomorrow we'll handle like cleaning up the application to make it look better. Uh, and then we'll see where we can go from there. But yeah, that's going to do it for this intro. I know it's, the intro is probably uh, pretty lengthy compared to the actual video, but, you know, I like to give you guys a heads up of what you're getting into so that you can either skip this video or, you know, proceed with caution or whatever. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Let's go ahead and let's jump into some code. Okay, so the plan for today is um, it's sort of like part one of two. Uh, we're going to be handling the styling, I think, in the next part. And today we're just going to be adding um, a body to these to-do list items. So we're going to have to add another field right here uh, that lets us add the body. And then when we hit task, we'll have like a bit more of a description to what we're doing here. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is we'll come into our Rails API and we'll just stop the server. And we'll have to generate this migration, which we can do by running Rails G migration. Uh, and then we'll say add body to um, to do's and we'll say body colon text and then we'll open this up in our text editor so i'll just come over here i have both of the projects open in this one window and i'll come into db migrate and i'll check out this last one so all we're doing is we're adding a column for the to, do, uh, to the to do's that is a body of type text so we can then run a rails db colon migrate command to migrate the database and then we have to come into our app controllers API and then to do's controller because uh, we have to permit this parameter. So we have the task here, but we also need to now permit the body. And then if we come into our rails console, we can type rails C, uh, we can do like to do dot new. And you can see here that it now has um, a body field right here. So that's great. Uh, let's uh, let's start the server again. So I'll type rails s-p 3001 and then I'll come over to our uh, React application and I'll close off the Rails one over here and come into the React. Uh, so the first thing we probably have to do is change the form because we now want to add this text field here or this text area. So let's import, uh, what is it called again? I think it's like text area auto size so text area auto size and the first t and the a from auto size are capitalized um, i always get that wrong so then we'll do at material dash ui core slash text area auto size and i'll just full screen this so we then come down to our um our render and down here we need to add in i guess below this text field uh, and we can probably change this to a 12. And then down here, we'll say add another grid item XS equals 12. And we'll say this is a text area. Let's oh, see, I almost did it again. Text lowercase a area auto size. Uh, and this is going to have a couple things. So this has like an ID equal to, we'll just say body input, just, uh, just in case we need that later. It'll have a label 
equal to um, like task body. Uh, it'll have a variant equal to outlined. I don't actually know if that's necessary or if that even works for this. <laughs> so we'll probably get rid of some of these. Uh, it's going. Oops! It's going to have a type equal to text, and then a name equal to. And here we need to follow the same format of to do with the brackets. So we'll say to do bracket, and then body instead of task. Um, and then we can also change like the state of this, but we'll handle that in a little bit. Uh, so let's just close this off for now and see what this looks like. So I'll refresh the page, and you can see here we have our resizable field. So I'll say like this is, oops, this is the title, this is the body. Um, and then I'll come over to our server so we can see what happens when I hit add task. So you can see here it was inserted into the to-dos list. And right here it says this is the title, but there's no body here. And the reason for that is we have to come into our to-do item and we have to actually like make this show the body here. So if we come into our to do item and we come down to like, I guess, above the button and below the um, the task, uh, we can change some of this around later. But I think for now, we'll just add another HR. And in here, we'll just say pro oops, props dot item dot body. Then we can save that. And now you can see um, this is the title, this is the body, the button's being pushed down a little bit, uh, but you can see that the body is now working. So if we create like a little bit more of an advanced one, so we'll say like uh, use lorem ipsum to showcase that the body can be big. And then we'll just look for like a lorem ipsum generator. I'll just click on this first one. I'll hit generate and I'll grab like five paragraphs uh, and we'll just paste these in here now this isn't going to preserve the html so like this space isn't going to be respected but if i hit add task you can see here it's sort of <laughs> uh it's like going behind everything uh, and the reason for that is we have to change a little bit of how our styling works here but you can see that like the actual task itself is being added as we would expect it to uh, so what if we change this height from three EM to just be auto. And now you can see we have the title with the body here uh, and the delete button is staying inside of the form as you would expect it to. Uh, we can probably do a little bit more. I don't really want to get too much into the styling here, but one thing I would like to fix is this form looks kind of weird the way it is right now. So let's come over to our to-do form and let's make sure that um, if I refresh the page, this is sort of like similar width to the task description. So let me just full screen this and we'll find the, uh, the text area auto size. And let's give this just an inline style. Um, we'll probably clean this up later. We'll just say uh, this has a width of 99%. Is that gonna fix this a little bit? Uh, it looks like it's off, so maybe we'll do 100%. It's always hard to tell what's the right amount here. Yeah, so 100% is too much and 99% is too little. So this looks like it's more uh, like 99.25%, something like that. And then uh, let's just leave it as an even 99% uh, because 100% is too much, but we can also give this like a border radius of um, let's say five pixels. I think that's about what this one has. And then you can see it looks, uh, if I scroll in here, it looks about what the other one was, maybe even less. So maybe we'll change this to be like two pixels. I could just go in and inspect the style, but I think that wasn't, uh, uh, let's just leave it at five. Um, so that's the basic idea here. We can also give this like a min height so that it looks a little bit better on load. So let's say, uh, I think they changed this to actually be like rows of min now because they're deprecating uh, just rows. Let's set this to three. So if I do that, you now have three rows here. And then let's add a placeholder equal to uh, 
describe your to do item. We'll just say dot dot dot. Okay, so that's going to do it for this little, uh, you know, to do body description episode thing. Uh, next time we're going to take a look at adding, um, you know, the styling to this that makes the application sort of come together and look a bit more cohesive. Uh, right now I know that things are a little bit of a mess in terms of alignment and like the sizes and stuff. So we'll try and clean up some of that stuff. Uh, we'll also take a look at probably cleaning up, uh, I think in the to-do body we had like uh, some of the variants and stuff probably aren't even necessary. Uh, so I'll take a look at all that tonight and then hopefully tomorrow I'll have a better version for you guys where everything is cleaned up. Uh, but that's going to do it for me. Uh, if this video helped you, remember to like it. And if this video didn't help you, remember to dislike it so we don't subject other people to more bad tutorial videos. Uh, and, you know, if you want to see more of these, I'll be making these for another 15 weeks or so. Uh, and then I'll have some other content after that. So I'd consider subscribing, you know, click the bell, all that good stuff that YouTubers say. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for me. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow in part five. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.